The fire triangle is a simple illustration that shows the three components needed to create a fire. Those are heat, oxygen, and fuel. Take a quick look at how each side of the fire triangle can be eliminated to extinguish a fire by using typical items found in most shops and houses. So the first part of the fire triangle that we're gonna work on eliminating is the oxygen side. Now, usually when you think of eliminating the oxygen side, the first things that come to mind are things like water, putting the lid on a pan where there's a grease fire, or using a fire blanket. We're gonna start a little fire here and put it out using something commonly found in the shop that will eliminate the oxygen. Let's go. It took a minute, but it went out when the oxygen was used up. Next, we can extinguish a fire by removing the heat. One of the ways you're probably most familiar with putting out a fire is by blowing the heat away, like when you're blowing out birthday candles. Or blowing the flame away from the match. Another way you might not have heard about, but is also kind of a fun one, is you can actually use a conducting material to conduct the heat away from the flame, extinguishing it. For this one, I've got this match lit, and all I'm gonna do is use a little bit of copper wiring to conduct the heat away from the flame. For this last demonstration, we're gonna show you how to stop a fire by removing the fuel. This is most commonly used in forest fires when they create a fire break to separate two areas so that one area burns but the other one doesn't have enough fuel to ignite. As you can see here, the fire is steadily spreading from one end of the sawdust to the other. We're gonna save this last end of the sawdust just by creating a small fire break. Those are the basics of the fire triangle. It's a simple approach to explaining the three ingredients needed to start a fire. Once you understand how it works, you can be more effective in preventing fires and extinguishing any that occur.